Hey guys, this is Jeremy Harris from First Southern Baptist Church in Liberal, Kansas, and I want to share with you a worship thought from God's Word today. I happen to be a big fan of the game of volleyball. Many of you probably don't know that about me, but I love to play. I've never played like on a team or anything organized, but recreationally, I love to get people together and hit a volleyball back and forth over the net. It's a great way to exercise and it's a lot of fun. This year, my daughter is actually getting to play volleyball with the school team, and so my family and I got to follow the team up to Syracuse, Kansas this past weekend and watch her play volleyball. However, before the game started, the court was mostly empty. There were just a few people batting the ball around. The, the teams weren't warming up or anything, and so I got the opportunity to go out on the court and hit the ball back and forth with my wife for a little while. And we were just having fun, waiting until the girls were ready to start warming up. So Addie comes in, and says, hey dad, show me your overhand serve. It's something she's been working on, trying to get down. So I'm excited to get to show her that her dad does know how to hit a ball over a net and, and can do it halfway well. So I throw the ball up, hit the ball, smack right into the net, drops to the ground. Terrible shot. And I'm reminded, I, I laugh at myself, my daughter laughs at me, we have a good chuckle. I get off the court so the girls can actually start warming up and, and get ready for the game. But it reminded me so easily about something that we as Christians tend to struggle with, and that is this temptation of pride. See, humility is something that our society seldom exalts. It's not a character trait that we often think about wanting to cultivate in our lives. We're, we're told, be proud of who you are, be proud of what you're good at, hide the things you're bad at, right? Proverbs chapter 25 and verse six says, don't boast about yourself before the king. Don't stand in the place of the great, for it is better for him to say to you, come up here, than to demote you in plain view of the nobles. Proverbs 16 verse 18 says it another way. It says, for pride comes before destruction, an arrogant spirit comes before a fall. We have a great opportunity with the gifts and the abilities that God has given us to humbly use those things to his glory but so often we tend to use those for our own glory. Whether it me, be me singing and leading worship on a Sunday morning and wanting people to notice how well I play the guitar or how well I sang that song this week, or whether it be giving a presentation at work and you throw in some extra words that are not necessary, but you hope they'll make you look clever and witty compared to the person that presented before you, or whatever that case may be. Each one of us has to struggle against that temptation of pride and recognize that humility is a gift from the Lord. And when we use humility well, the things that God has gifted us at, we're able to use those to lift Him up and make Him look great, rather than hoping that people will notice us and think that we're so great. I hope that's a challenge for you. I hope it's an encouragement to you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.